car right out here Monday. Uh, had 177 acres of corn left to put in the ground. I'm done with corn then. Got 50 acres of in three fields here that we put anhydrous on pre-plant. Two acres and seven acres, and then a 40, a little over 50, about a 42 acre field. Yeah. Work across the ditch right there. Get this worked here, finish it up in about two hours, and then uh, about three hours total, and then uh, gonna go get back in the planter and got a couple test plots that are not well variety plots to put in uh, over at Grandpa's place later in the day. Get this train turned around here and get everything work. Kind of a challenge sometimes. Very thankful. Uh, God's blessed us to let us have, have having this, the equipment's just ran flawless this this year. We've had that'll cover about 750 or 770 acres of corn, and the, so far, if things are in good day, the only trouble we had was the first day out. Uh, the low voltage light came on on the planter monitor and it quit working. And the battery that it was hooked into uh, got a dead cell in it, so that that wasn't much of a problem at all. It changed the battery out, so that's our only problem. Very thankful for that. It's kind of fought that 5100 planter last year, and it's just no fun to be fighting stuff. But things ran real good this year. I don't know if the video's gonna pick it up, but that's about our hilliest little patch here. About a fourth of the field or a third of the field is on a slope. For about a whopping three quarters of an acre is on a slope. I don't know if you can see that there looking across it or not. It goes down to the ditch.
Alrighty, out here, uh, this is Monday, um, I'm going to film this, finished up, uh, planting, actually, I'll take that back, this was Saturday here, I filmed this, the first clip was actually from Monday, um, I had a problem with my camera tonight, it's a Thursday evening, finally got around to putting the video together, and I apologize, something went wrong with the SD card and the camera, and uh that first clip there in the first tile was the only clip that turned out the other clips were super grainy and uh the color in them was actually purple and green was the only colors in the in the whole video i thought about making it a black and white video but it was just too grainy it wasn't even worth watching so i just scrapped the whole thing and just took the first clip and i had these extra clips here i'm going to put this together here uh, finishing up planting video so I apologize for that but we did get finished up got the corn put in quicker than we've ever put corn in before I'm very thankful for that the equipment ran really well God blessed us to put the man, equipment just ran super this year and he, it was it was it was fun putting corn in there's been like last year the 5100 fought us a lot and it's just not fun when the equipment's fighting you, but this year it ran really well, so very happy for that. Put a finished up there south of Grandpa's house and put a, some variety plots out there again, uh, similar to what we had there on the first first day we planted. And I'll have a video of that all this fall of different varieties just for information and whatnot. Night's Thursday, or it is Thursday night. We did not get in the field. It rained Wednesday night. Um, so we'll probably be out. We got six tenths of rain. We're obviously out today. We'll probably be out tomorrow, which will be Friday and Saturday. And it'll probably be Monday before we get back in and start planting beans. But we got everything switched over and got the side dress bar ready to go and everything, So which is fine. Point rows here is why we're not following the wheat strip. This is in the third field we planted here. <coughs> I'm about to do it here on uh, this video, so I apologize again that the video got messed up, and thanks for watching.